Okay, I know this seems out of order. This is for Algebra 2, Lesson 26. These are problems from your homework. And um, on a prior video, I already did numbers, I'm trying to think, I think it was 4, 5, and 6. Right now I'm going to do 1 and 2. Um, these are also forms of a hyperbola. I don't like these as well. It's hard to maybe tell. <clears throat> but notice neither the x or the y are squared. Okay, the difference is if you look at them, you have an x and a y being multiplied together. So this is still going to be split apart. So this is why um, this may look just a little weird. But here's probably, this is one where maybe you could plot some points and keep it simple. But does everybody realize you can't plug 0 in right here? You can never divide by 0. It's undefined. So x can never be 0. So we're going to plug in some other things real quick. How about if we plug in a 1? And if I plug in a 1, you can see I'm going to get a negative 3. If I plug in a 3, I am going to get what? 3 over 3 is 1. So I'm going to get a negative 1. How about if we plug in a 6? You know, you can plug in anything you want, so why not plug in things nice? But 3 over 6 is 1 half. So I'm going to get a negative 1 half. And let's see, what else can we plug in? How about if I plug in a 1 third? Okay, does everybody realize when I plug in 1 third, and I have no problem with you doing this with your calculator. I'm ignoring that negative just for a minute. I guess I can stick it out here. But that says 3 divided by 1 third, which means 3 times the reciprocal, which is 9. <clears throat> so it just kind of comes out nice. Okay, if you would plug in like 1 sixth, you're going to get 18, but just plug in some different things. And by the way, that's a negative 1 9. So let's go ahead and we're going to graph this and see what it looks like. Okay. Now we did several of these in class, so everybody's okay with all this. But 1, negative 3. Let's see if I can come in a little closer and clear this up. There's 1, negative 3. I had a point 3, negative 1. I had 6, negative 1 half. Um, if you plug in a 9, you're going to get a negative 1 third. So I didn't do that one, but it's the truth. 1 third is a negative 9, so it's going to be down here. So what you're going to have is you're going to have the smooth curve. It's going to approach 0, but it's never going to equal 0. So make sure it doesn't hit the line, but it should look like it's getting closer to the line. And you're going to also have something that looks like this. Again, it's never going to hit the y-axis. It's never going to hit 0. But as you get closer and closer to zero, your x values, it's going to shoot off to negative infinity. So that's what that side looks like. Now, let me do a different colored pen. There's no reason to do all this again. But do you realize if I would hit in negative values, why are you blurry, doggone? Okay, if I would hit in negative values, it's just going to change these signs. So I'm going to do that. If I change the sign of one, you know, I am not going to replug in all my values. So this is what I'm going to get. <clears throat> So that means that when I plug in a negative 1, out pops a positive 3. And you can see that because I would have had a negative and a negative, which would make that positive. So if I come and plot these points now, okay, let me clear you up again. I'm going to have a negative 1, 3, a negative 3, 1, a negative 6, 1 half. Let's see, uh, what do we say? A negative 1 third is going to be a 9. So you're going to have this. Whoops, I kind of missed one of my points right there. That's why you do it in pencil, I guess. Okay, this is a hyperbola that's split, I guess if you want to say it, on the diagonal. So you kind of get to where you kind of know what they look like. They all look like that basically. If you know the basic shape, it doesn't. you don't have to plot in very many points. Okay, so here's number two. First of all, I'm going to move this to the other side. I am going to solve for y, just like they solve for y. So I'm going to divide both sides by x. So I have y equals 4 over x. Okay, I don't need very many points because remember, I told you they're all going to look like this. The only reason I did this one as well is because this one had a negative and this one's positive. Okay, so how is that going to affect anything? I can't plug in 0. You can never divide by 0. Try in your calculator, you'll get a big fat error. Okay? But if I plug in 4, 4 over 4, I'm going to get 1. If I plug in 8, I'm going to get 4 over 8 is 1 half. Let me plug in some more over here. 
if I plug in, what shell should I plug in? A one. Four over one is four. Okay. Um, what else should we plug in? If we plug in a two, four over two is two. Um, what if I plug in a one fourth? Plug that in. Four divided by one fourth is one. How about not? How about 16? <laughs> about freaked that one out. Okay, if I plug in a half, four divided by one half is eight. Is that going to give us enough to kind of see what it's going to look like? Let's plug those in and see. Here's four one. Four ones right there. I had eight and one half. There it is. Um, there's one four and two two. One fourth is all the way up to 16. One half is eight. So it looks like that. So you can kind of see real quick that once again, I have a nice smooth curve through here. It is gonna get closer and closer to the x-axis, but it will never touch it. Same thing here, it gets closer and closer to the y-axis as it goes up, but it's never going to touch it. It's an asymptote, basically. Okay, now what happens, though, if I would have plugged in negative values? Okay, if you plug, it's just gonna change everything. If you change the sign of one, it changes the sign of all. So I am not gonna plug in any more points. I'm just gonna do that. So let's see what happens. If I plug in a negative four, it's negative one. Negative four, negative one. Negative eight is one half. Negative one is negative four. Negative two, negative two. Negative one half is negative eight. So something like that. So you can see again, nice smooth curve. It's getting closer and closer to the y-axis, but will not touch. Same thing here. Oops, it looks like it touched. That's what I get for looking through my computer screen or my phone. And there you go. Okay, so these are all different types of hyperbolas. These are a little bit maybe more time consuming, but really no big deal. If it's positive, okay, so for example, well, let's look at this one. This one's negative, so it's going to be split like the very first one. Okay, when, um, I'm going to see what other ones we did. When you get ready to do, uh, this is 26C, when you get ready to do number three, do you see how it's negative? You know, it's going to be split in these, quad in these quadrants right here. Now, this one, put your four on the other side, and divide by x, so it's going to end up being positive, so it's going to be in these quadrants right here. They're all going to look the same, and that's what the deal is. You want to recognize what it is, okay? So, good luck with that.